gonna be tough to get that performance bonus now. These two, they put on a show. Yeah, is that crazy? They only had three rounds though. You're the main event. You got five rounds to put on the show. Guess we ended early. I'm ready for whatever. Prepare for the worst, expect the best, right? Damn right. All right, then let's go. Let's do this. Let's get it. Yeah. Prelims no more. Here he is making his way to the octagon. This is the first time in his UFC career he has worked his way to the main card. He has strung together some wins, looking at the rankings, and this guy appears like he belongs. A lot more eyeballs on him tonight. The audience is bigger. His popularity has grown leaps and bounds. We'll see if he can handle that pressure and perform the way he has that led to this main card slot here tonight. Well, it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense. Consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. All right, champ, I'm excited for this one, and you're cracking a wry smile. I know you are, too. This is a kickboxer of the highest order, and he's made no bones about it. He believes that if this fight is contested on the feet, He's going to wax this guy early. He's going to get the job done. He has 100% confidence that if they're standing, he's better. And why would he not? He is one of those kickboxers that is on the level of Edesanya, Pareda, and Alistair Overeem. He sits amongst the best to come from that sport and apply it to mixed martial arts. He's got a well-rounded skill set outside of kickboxing, but the kickboxing is what makes him special. Yeah, it was interesting to hear Alex Pereira, the middleweight champion, praise him recently, sort of unsolicitedly. So, needless to say, the eyes of the sport are fixed upon this kickboxer here tonight. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> your referee he's the third man in the octagon Great. tonight all right round one underway here this will be his first fight on the main card so that bears watching here tonight there's no denying just how successful he's been on the prelims but now on the main card for the first time undeniably the highest profile opponent and the best fighter he will have ever faced we'll see if he can get off to a good start tonight oh he gets tagged there nice combination to the head oh my goodness these balls are going at it Flips the punch. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Nice counter left hook. Oh, nice combination. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. 
Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken, like, a five-finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like a that. Full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this size kicking you with a shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Working off the jab, it's good. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Beautiful strike. Oh, big head kick. Man, has he come out aggressively to start this fight and landing at a pretty good clip, too. Connecting on a lot of shots up top to the body. Very technical striker, but tonight, really as aggressive approach as we've seen out of him in his UFC career. All right, so unless my eyes are deceiving me, that is some bruising now on that calf. It only took one, John. I mean, one calf kick, and it's already starting to bruise. Round right. two next. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Able to block the punch there. Oh, nice jab. Hook is crazy. Well, let's take a look at the numbers. He is landing at a very good clip here tonight, and it's one thing to have the output that he has had. It's another to be that accurate. An absolutely incredible striking display here tonight thus far. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Look at his calf, bro. It looks like somebody poured a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon on his it's, calf and left it there all night. It's all red, and it's swelling. He's going to have some difficulties. Look, it hurts right now, but I would not want to be this guy tomorrow. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Just that nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's good. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Oh, nice kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. 
45 seconds remain in the round. He's got to start throwing now. Ooh, big shot lands. 20 seconds to go round two. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas up. Two rounds in the books. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Ready. Ready. Third Go. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Nice entry there and able to finish. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again, nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch-up. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A little bit. Horrible. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you've wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though, though, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Under two minutes to go in the round. That gets stopped by leg kicks. I'm a verbal in town. <laughs> Back to the feet now. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. <laughs> An absolute freak of a knockout here tonight. That's a three-check knockout, right? Show money, win money, bonus money. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in sport. You don't see it anywhere but mixed martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kid Dynamite! All right, so a nice win for this fighter here tonight. His coaches have always said when the stakes get higher, his performances will get better, and that's exactly the way it plays.